Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to learn how to play Sunday Bloody Sunday by U2. So uh, we've got some cool stuff to look at in this one, so let's just jump right into it. First of all, tune down a half step. That's where you want to play along with the album and this lesson. That's what we're tuned to. So let's uh, start here. What you're going to want to do to make this riff really easy to play is bar your first finger across the second fret, this intro riff here, this main riff of the song, just across the first three strings and then put your, you're basically gonna hold a D major chord, but instead of playing it like this, play it like this. So your first finger and then your second finger there, the third fret on the B string. Then add your third finger on the fourth fret on the uh, G string there. So you're gonna pick from the G string all the way to the high E, and then back down to the, second, the B string. So we have this, one, two, three, four. Then just pick up that third finger and you got that B major chord there, but you're holding it in this kind of funky way. So we have same picking there. Now just pick up your first finger. So now you have only your second finger there, and you have open strings around it. So we have this. Now you're going to pick through those three strings again, but the timing is going to be different. You have... Every time you hit the B string, it's a, it's a 16th note. So we have this. Yeah, instead of thinking about the timing, just listen to the sound of it. All right, then from there we go to the D major uh, and the E minor. Back to the D. Back to the E. Strum it again. All right, and then we come to this um, kind of bigger sounding part of the song, something like this. All right, so that's a, uh, a B minor bar chord here. Now, sometimes it'll just kind of hit the bottom three strings. Sometimes it'll hit the, all the strings. We had this rhythm. So you kind of want to, I'll slow it down. See how I caught the next chord on an upstroke? And that next chord is a D major chord off the fifth fret on the A string. We're barring your third finger across the B, G, and D here at the seventh fret. Now, a lot of times here, he's hitting just the bottom three strings. And sometimes he'll get that second string in the strum. So we have this. Then move that up to the 10th fret. So we have this. So you stay twice as long on that chord of the 10th fret. Go back through the chords again. And then you're gonna, the second time, you know, you're still playing this G kind of twice as long, this G major chord. But you're gonna hit it and go, this is the second time around, by the way. You're hitting it, sliding up two frets to the 12th fret, and then come back down to G. So all the way through. And then you go back in. The vocals come in there when they start playing it again. Then halfway through it, he bails on that part and just goes back to the intro. All right, and then all the sections, you know the chord. Goes back into that. So he's just kind of repeating through those uh, chord progressions. Towards the end of the song, he doesn't do that slide part of it. He just does. Just keeps it simple. All right, so uh, we also have some kind of little variations of the they do some harmonics basically it's a really harmonic lick it sounds like this so i'm sure you know the song you know when that comes in so it's just a harmonic at the seventh fret on the d it's like three groups of two harmonics seventh on the d to seventh on the g let those ring 
and then seven on the G again, and then to the harmonic of the fifth fret on the G. Use the, the like the pad, not the tip, the pad of your um, ring finger. It's kind of usually the the flattest part of your finger, and it kind of makes it easier to hit those harmonics well. And then the last group of two is the seventh fret on the B and the seventh on the G. And back into the. All right, so the only other part we have to look at here is going to be the guitar solo. So let me play through that real quick, and then I'll take you through it. Here we go. So pretty much this whole solo, we have an open string ringing with the actual melody notes. So the top notes we're going to start with are the 10th fret on the high E to the, I mean, sorry, 12th, then to the 10th. So you're just playing those two notes. And you're going to add the low B, I mean, not the, not the low B, the open B. Do the exact same thing, just one string up. Also getting the open G. Repeat that. Now all the rest of the melody notes, they all stay on the B string now. And what we're going to do is have a high E string ring it with. So this high E string is going to you'll be hitting the, the first string and second string together. You're basically just doing a melody up and down the B string while always having the high E string with it. So that melody, I'll just go through it real quick. 10, slide down to 8, then 7, 5, and then the 3rd fret, and you're going to hold on the 3rd fret a little bit longer. And then 2, 3, 2, 0. And then start making your way back up. Two, three, five, seven, eight, ten, twelve, then fifteen, fourteen. Then ten, twelve. And then you're gonna end it with a harmonic across the twelfth fret on the high on the B and the high E string. this all right so that's about it for the solo you might want to just you know watch the video a couple times at that part just kind of memorize the numbers of the frets up there but it's a it's a pretty simple process just a single melody note going up and down the string all right, so that's about it uh, for Sunday Bloody Sunday. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com. Bye-bye.